My name is Sherry, the president of this island. Today, my first duty as president is to create a McDonald's. I hired superstar designer Nika Chu, and by the end of the video, there will be a McDonald's made here on Nico Land. Let's do this. So here I am, Nika Chu, in the middle of the November heat. Oof! I have to make a McDonald's before I go to bed. And let me tell you, I go to bed at 5 a.m., so I have a lot of time in my hands. So I found this beautiful spot right next to the museum. I don't know, if I were Blathers, I would be stoked that a McDonald's opened right next to my McMuseum. I mean, let, let's be a little honest here. He should give me some money. I really chose to open my McDonald's right next to the museum. That's going to boost his business, and he gets McDonald's all the time. How about we strike a deal, Mr. Blathers? You get a free Big Mac every Wednesday, and every Friday, I get to go swim with the fish in the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine my purple zombie looking dude with a pink rabbit head around its skull just jumping into the aquarium with the fish and swimming with them. And Blathers is just standing there like, what the heck is going on in my museum? He's just aggressively pecking me and I just fall to the ground. Isabel has to make an announcement the next morning. She's like, well, today, everyone, yeah, uh, we found a a body on the ground that looks like it was attacked by an owl and the only owl we have on this island is Blathers so one plus one equals two and don't forget tennis is on at 8 p.m. That's what her announcement would sound like. Anyways, on to very slightly more important things. I'm currently putting red and yellow flowers like checkerboard where it's Obviously, your two favorite condiments, ketchup and mustard. Woo! I then went to Timmy and Tommy's place, and let me just say, I cashed out. I practically had to work three years at the local library to get the funds to buy, you know, the toilet for my McDonald's. But I made the money, and I was able to buy it. And then I just started making the most beautiful, you know, straight out of Home Depot blue bathroom. I got the tiles on that kind of slip your feet when you're just got out of the shower. You like slip and fall. It really hurts, but you just have, you know, the beautiful blue tiles. I then walked outside and I saw Sherry and Mary and Blue Bear not eating McDonald's. They're making their own probably real yummy food on the grill. I'm like, come to McDonald's, get some organic chicken tenders. You know, there's Big Macs. Come on. Don't come. Are you trying to compete with me right now, Sherry? Are you trying to steal my business? Work so hard in this thing. <laughs> Anyways, Blue Bear's like, I haven't seen you around. I'm always happy to chat with you. I haven't talked to Blue Bear, I think, ever. I think <laughs> this is actually my first conversation I've had with Blue Bear on my island, which is so sad, but I think it's true. Anyway, she was trying to tell me about Gulliver, who's on the ground and beached up, a big bird beached up on the ground. I'm like, girl, that's been going on for eight months and nothing's happening, no new developments. I then see Cherry, who looks like she wants to leave, and in fact, she does. Cherry wants to leave my island. And I, uh, I talked to Sherry for a second, and she said, do it, get rid of her, and we'll turn our first night of McDonald's, the grand opening of McDonald's will be a, a, a cherry go away party, which I feel like is a little bit of a slap in the face, really. Like, my, my big going home away party is at McDonald's. Like, I feel like cherry deserves a little bit better than, you know, a, 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 a McFlurry. I mean, come on now. She's been here for months. I love McFlurries, but come on now. Cherry, may, give her at least an, a, a Dairy Queen. I'm really liking what I'm doing at the place. Like, I honestly don't spend much time playing Animal Crossing, building things and designing things. I'm just doing like the challenges with my villagers and stuff. So I'm really having a lot of fun designing this island. It's looking really good. I'm starting to finally get over the disgusting mustard and ketchup flooring. At first I wanted to throw up. It was like, like, I don't know, your dog throws up. You're like, I don't want to clean it up. It's nasty, but I mean, it's my dog. I have to clean it up. <laughs> Someone's got to clean it up. What I'm trying to say here is you see someone throw up. You're like, this is disgusting, but I have to work with it. And I got to clean it up or someone's got to clean it up. So might as well like 
get to work. And that's what Sherry gave to me, okay? She gave me a plot of land in the middle of the wilderness, okay? Bugs creeping through the seams 24-7. You know, that's what I'm thinking with this McDonald's. It's a dump, okay? I, it's not looking good. I'm, you know, we're, we're right next to grass and bugs. Every five seconds, we have a dragonfly in our stoves. This is not the best McDonald's, but I'm trying to make it work, okay? And hey, this is a lot more fun than picking up the throw up as referenced earlier as an analogy. So I would take this synonym to that analogy. I think I used those words correctly. Anyways, <laughs> I'm making this stall. It's very cute. If I had to describe it in one word, I would definitely call it mictastic. Mick beautiful, Mick everything I've ever Mick dreamed of. And look at this Mick dragonfly. I told you there are Mick bunches of them every Mick wear. Anyways, let's go talk to Cherry. We all know she's about to leave. Give her a round of applause. Everyone, Siri, oh my god, Cherry. You've been great. You've been a great person on this island and a star, truly. And she says, thank you. I gotta thank you for your advice. I advised her to leave. I said, hey, the grass is greener. I mean, seriously, have you seen our grass? It looks like it hasn't been watered since Animal Crossing Wild World, like almost two decades ago. You know, a lot of people like to say we want Brewster in Animal Crossing, but I just say, can I just have one night of rain, please? Look at my plants, they need it. Like what in Isabel's wild world is going on here? They look so dehydrated. Anyways, Pom Pom is the first employee of my McDonald's. I thought she was a great McChoice. I thought she just has that McLoyalty in her McBlood. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I promised myself I'm gonna stop. I promised myself if I stop saying Mick this and Mick that, that I might buy myself a piece of pie after making this video. Anyways, let's move on. Pom Pom is a great choice for the job. She's very calm, she's fun. And I heard from a few reliable sources, one named Sherry, that she can make a mean ramen soup in the microwave. And, and that, that sounds, sounds delicious. delicious. Good. Speaking of Sherry, here she comes chasing me down the island. <laughs> she was chasing me. She still is chasing me down. Oh my gosh, I felt like I was, you know, need for speed for a second. But I wasn't scared because I can stand my ground to Sherry. And she asked me out of nowhere if I would deliver her a present for Rosie. And I told her no. <laughs> I said no, I'm I won't do it. I'm feeling a little bad now watching this back. I'm like, oh no, I really told Ro I, I really told Sherry no. She wanted my help and I told her no. But I was in the middle of making McDonald's for her. Like, I didn't want to, like, go run errands, like, go deliver a present to Rosie in the middle of a, a Sunday. Like, I'm building McDonald's here. What do you want from me? People are finally coming to my McDonald's, by the way. It's a full crowd, one of which are a worker. Here is the second member of my crew who is sleeping right now, and I fake angered him. I was like... Zucker wake up Zucker is the maintenance of the team he cleans up the bathroom he cleans up the floor and Sherry who's the health inspector uh, also the president of the United States of Animal Crossing uh, my, my, my island she is inspecting it right now since she's the president and paid all this money to make it and she's smelling the tea she's like Nico Coffee smells good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, Sherry, we've been friends for what, like nine months? I wouldn't make you bad coffee. And then here's Zucker just sitting, just sitting. He's not doing his job. I see, I see, I see. Um, anyways, it's getting close to dinner time, and Sherry's sitting, ready to, ready to chow. And I'm so excited to uh, be able to cook and supply a meal for Madam President of Mikachu Island. So that's great. Zucker, I gave him a nurse's jacket because I felt like it just kind of fits. Uh, and it was so cute. Honestly, it's the best outfit I've ever given Zucker. I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, so Bam is now having a conversation with Sherry about how they're singing a song together. And I kind of wanted to play along with it. So first, listen for a second. <laughs> Lifting up a huge weight, yeah. My arms like armor plates, a stronger their meal weights. You're a highway, my turn. Find a lower mortgage rate, yeah. Great.
That was probably top 10 worst Nikachu moments of all time. I mean, what was that? That, that like, honestly annoyed me, but I wanted to keep it in because it was, like, fun cringe. But I don't even know it's fun cringe anymore. Anyways, my wild animals are being wild. I mean, we don't, we, we can't forget. These are octopuses standing on eight feet right now. These are not normal creatures, <laughs> okay? Like, this is a duck on two feet that can talk with the beak in, like, a gibberish English. And then she has, like, this beautiful, like, hair. I mean, like, this is not realistic right we have to remind ourselves pom pom's talking about something ridiculous i don't even know what she's talking about she's just working out next to the dinner we're supposed to have 10 big macs ready nine for bam it's made i mean blue bear's here and she's just angry <laughs> she's just angry for some reason then we have this awesome conversation listen <laughs> I chipped a tooth on a corn once. I mean, come on now. Animal Crossing just gets me sometimes. Like, this really, like, stupid, weird humor. Like, that's, like, really ironic and, like, you know, tongue-in-cheek. So funny. So funny. I just... Some conversations just really make me laugh. Anyways... <laughs> Pom Pom asked me what my favorite sport was, so I told her Animal Crossing. So we're kind of breaking the fourth wall now. Pom Pom's talking about how she loves... Animal Crossing and wants to watch like a match of me playing Animal Crossing really weird But anyway, she talks about you don't have any homework. Do you any homework? You should maybe be doing right now Papa, would you become my mother? I mean, let's take it down a notch sweetie Really you're gonna ask me if I have homework that I should be doing right now I wouldn't be surprised if pom-pom gives me an SAT study book for Christmas at this rate. This is Anyways, I'm very, very happy to see Pom Pom and Sherry sit down next to each other. Wowie, amazing. I love it. And then everyone's just like hanging out in the bathroom constantly. It's starting to bother me quite a bit. I'm like, really? The bathroom's meant to, you know, get in and get out, right? Make it as quick as possible. These people are having full on parties in the bathroom. It's like rallies down there. I'm like, calm down. I put something really nice i got cherry's cupcake of course we're celebrating the opening of mcdonald's and cherry's legacy and pom pom and blue bear are rudely talking in the middle of my speech so whatever they're all just singing happy birthday blue bear is singing i'm joining blue bear we're sounding like the most beautiful choir in the whole entire world singing happy birthday uh to the amazing cherry who is leaving the island and I'm happy about how this McDonald's went. It was a good time. And then all of a sudden, I have a breaking announcement. Everyone report to the left. We have an invasion from Batman. We got to get out of here right now, folks. McDonald's is over. This is code ketchup. Yeah, that's right. Code red. This is a category five McMergency. We need a full on McVacuation. But we ended up having a good time. And I think these people had a good time really hanging out. Yeah. But everything is not what it seems. Sherry was the one who kicked out Cherry. Why? Well, try saying Sherry and Cherry 25,000 times in a row. It's not going to fare well for you. The two names are very confusing, and Sherry could not stand the confusion anymore. She wanted to be the only Sherry, not confused with Cherry. And then I went to go look for a replacement for Apple, and I found ketchup. Ketchup. Like McDonald's? Like code ketchup? What is this, Mr. A? I don't know, but it's just a Nikachu video, so it can't be that important, right? Hey, dudes, it's me, Nikachu, here with Isabel, trying to be relatable and cool, so you can subscribe right now, because we are only 2,000 subscribers away from 100,000, which, I mean, that's pretty cool. Be one of those. Why not? Put it on your resume. When you go apply for a job, say, hey, I was Nikachu's 100,000th subscriber. I'm sure that's a, it's a lock. I think you'll be working there very soon. So thanks for watching. Oh, well, actually, let me, that's a lie. Okay, don't actually put this on your resume because now I feel like people might actually do it and then I'm going to have like so much guilt for the rest of my life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye. And don't use Nikachu on your resume. Just want to make that clear one more time. I'm not endorsing that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.